So here are the stories I'm kind of surprised aren't done. And I know it's a midnight league. It's a stroke of midnight league. Nothing gets done until it's done, until it has to absolutely positively get done. Uh, unless, uh, I guess, you're the Arizona Cardinals and Kyler Murray, and you get it done a few days before. Although yesterday was the day that quarterbacks are supposed to start showing up in Arizona, and Murray showed up, and he's got himself a new deal. I can't believe we still haven't heard anything as of right now on Deshaun Watson's suspension. I don't know at all what's going on, and that's part of the reason why we've got Mike Florio coming up first. But the Cleveland Browns need to know what's going on. The Cleveland Browns need to know what's going on, and I guess this is part and parcel of bringing Deshaun Watson in, that you run the risk of uncertainty. As of right now, the Friday before training camp, maybe we're waiting, uh, maybe sometime in the next three hours we'll hear, maybe sometime over the next three days we will hear. But by next Tuesday, the Cleveland Browns in their cross-country mortgage campus <laughs> in Berea, Ohio, are going to open up training camp. And uh, is Deshaun Watson going to really be allowed to walk in there without knowing his future? Uh, I guess the Browns prepared yesterday by reportedly signing Josh Rosen, who I'm thrilled to hear getting an opportunity. And the fact that Rosen signs with Cleveland on the day that Kyler Murray gets generationally enriched is really the football gods kind of winking at everybody. But right now, we don't know what's going on with Deshaun Watson. Right now, Debo Samuel is up in the air still. Debo Samuel, by this point, the San Francisco 49ers, next week at the SAP Performance Facility in Santa Clara, California. He's going to have to walk in. Is he going to walk in and hold in? Is there nothing going on on that front? This guy is as important to this team. Name any other player that's not a quarterback that is as important to this team as he is. You could say he's more important to this team than the quarterback is. How about that? How many wide receivers slash offensive players can you say that about? That's how good he's become. That's how much he means to the team's identity. I I'm I know that um, it's, like I said, a midnight stroke of midnight, a 12.05 a.m. league. Things don't get done until they absolutely last second have to get done. I'm kind of surprised to be very honest with you, that we haven't heard a single thing about DK Metcalf either. Mm-hmm. Seattle's got to sign this guy. I mean, at some point, you're going to get a new quarterback, right? <laughs> at some point, unless Drew Locke is lightning in a bottle and he finds himself a new spot yeah, up maybe. in Seattle and they their system is somehow suited for him more than whatever was going down in in Denver, you know, with all due respect to Russ's new targets down there in Denver, wouldn't you put DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett up there with two of the best wide receiver duos in the NFL? Chris, if you had to name top duos. wide receiver duos yeah. in the National Football League? Top five, no doubt. Uh, I mean, I'm going through my head right now trying to think of somebody that you'd put Above them. Fully healthy. Evan and Godwin. Evan, Evan and, and Godwin. Evans maybe? and Godwin. Uh, uh, Cooper Cup and, and Allen Robinson. And Allen now. Robinson, if they're healthy. Even though we haven't seen Allen Robinson be healthy and be active and have a ball thrown to him in considerable now that, fashion. Now that Russ is in Denver, maybe Judy and Sutton. <laughs> DeAndre Hopkins and whoever lines up outside with him. I mean, you're talking about DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. You're what are you going to just break that thing up? But it is about the it's about the wide receiver market. You don't know what are you going to pay? You're going to pay somebody a uh, hundred million dollars to catch a football, or you know you've got the ability to get him in the fold 
and have him and lock it ready for lock to lock it and then lock to DK or Gino to lock it, Gino to DK. I mean, what are you going to just tap out on the whole season? You're going to. I mean, these guys aren't getting traded now. You're not trading anybody right now for draft choices next year. That ain't happening. You got to keep these guys happy. Kind of surprised these things are still lingering out there. Well, I guess not so surprised as well at the same time because it is, as I said, a 12-05 league. Am I missing anything else that's still outstanding? The Baker Mayfield scenario played out. Jimmy G, I'm not surprised, has not played out because the guy had sur- surgery on his shoulder. Yeah. But he's back throwing, making the throws. These are all going to be answered in the next four weeks and – I'm assuming it's got to be the next four days because Tuesdays when training camps are opening. 